Hello Aries viewers, sorry for the delay getting your videos up, but here I am. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Um, whatever story the cards want to tell here, please just be, please cards just be clear and direct. So for the Aries that are drawn to this, what do you need to know about your love life right now? What is the story? Well, it looks really positive here. Hmm. We've got true love, potential life partner, mutual feelings, emotional depth, cold, guarded, distrusting, truth and clarity. And then we have a sense of home, belonging, safe space, confusion and uncertainty. And fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Can I get some more clarification cards on what this fast moving energy is? Okay, what do we have here? Pause, reflection, rest, and choosing a path. So I've been getting a collective energy of um, just people being being um, at a crossroads in their life where they have a chance to break old patterns in relationships, be it patterns with abusive people or people that ghost or just people that are that act on their fear, act on their pride, people that are just emotionally unavailable. Like I, I noticed a strong collective energy right now. It's probably come out in like eight or nine of my um, of the twelve zodiac readings that I've I've done this month. Um, there's just this very strong collective energy of being able to go down a completely different path if you choose to. Like a lot of people are just saying enough is enough. I don't care if they're scared. I don't care if they're going through the dark night of their dark, dark night of the soul i don't care if they're what their issue is they're they're not here with me they're ghosting me or they're not communicating i want more than this i want a potential life partner that's going to be emotionally available that's going to treat treat me like a king or a queen that's going to be you know that's going to communicate with me on a regular basis in the physical world like you're you're wanting that physical stability that physical world relationship you know, the telepathy and the the psychic readings and all of it is just not, not cutting it anymore. It's just not enough. You know, you want that physical world relationship too. You want someone who's actually going to match your energy and, and be there for you consistently and push past their fear and push past their pride. And so I'm seeing this really beautiful energy with the collectives. Um, mostly the collective feminines, but I'm sure it applies to some of the collective masculines too, whatever your story might be. But but there are a lot of people that are just, you're choosing a path. You you have this option to, you know, get off the merry-go-round and break these cycles with, with emotionally unavailable people, people that ghost, people that are afraid, people that are prideful. And you have, you know, this, this opportunity to manifest a completely di different type of partner someone that might not be your usual type, someone that's just so different than anything you've ever known, just just true love, someone who's going to love you in ways that you've never been loved, you know? That's where we're at. It's a really beautiful energy where it's like we really... we There's there's so much opportunity for, for change here when it comes to our love lives right now, so I just want to put that out there, that you have multiple potential life partners. So you have this one that I'm picking up here, and then I'm going to pull some more cards and see what else I can get. But you have one... See, again, you, you have this one that's... basically just afraid of how strong they feel for you. They're afraid of 
Like, they've thought about marriage with you. I did get that in the last reading, too. They, they thought about marriage with you. They thought about, you know, having a life with you, committing to you. Maybe this is a type of person that doesn't normally think about those things. Like, they normally just kind of do their own thing. But with you, they're just seeing something different here. But one or both of you is almost like, well, still damaged. You know, this is cold. This is guarded. This is distrusting. It could be related to some kind of truth that just came out. I feel like it could also just be that they're just not used to feeling this strongly about someone. And so they're kind of almost not trusting their emotions because it just, this is fast moving energy, like sudden turn of events. It's like it, it's happening so fast that they're just, they don't, know, they don't know how to completely trust it and how to completely let you in. Um, but yeah, this is a potential life partner. This is, there are mutual feelings here. There is emotional depth here. And this person does see you as, you know, their home, their safe space, their sense of belonging. That truth is coming in as well that like, this is, this is your home. This is, this is right with this person. I always intuitively read the cards too when I'm seeing it in two different ways. I'm seeing one thing is that the truth is that this, you know, this person feels at home with you. This person loves you. This person sees you as a life partner and they're still trying to figure out why they feel so strongly about you, you know, when they're just, maybe you have a history, but for a lot of you, I think you guys are just getting to know each other. There's something there where they're like, I get the energy of them trying to be logical about it. Like, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel so strongly about this person when you know, we just met, or when we haven't talked in a long time, like, why do I keep coming back to this person, like, what is going on with this energy, like, why do I feel this way, and so they're almost doubting themselves, but they, they do have a lot of love for you, the second truth that I feel is that this card is talking about, is that maybe they are kind of cold, and guarded, and distrusting, you know, they're not, they're not fully, they are just kind of scared of their emotions, you know, and that might be causing you confusion and uncertainty because you're like, okay, you really love me, but you're, you're barely talking to me or you're playing it cool. You're not like you intuitively sense that they love you, but then maybe they're not expressing it as much as they could be. And so that's kind of causing you confusion and uncertainty because you're like, is this just in my head? Like, does this person really love me and want to marry me? Like I've been hearing in these readings or... Is it, like, is this all just fantasy? Like, I think it's causing you confusion. You know, this person needs to stop playing it cool. I think the the sudden turn of events card here, the fast-moving energy chaos, this is like a tower moment where everything just gets shaken up. It's like a rebirthing process where all the things that are no longer serving you just kind of fall away. You know, when you really let go and open up and you decide that you want a new life, sometimes it can be, you know, there can, there can be chaos at times because it's like your guides are going to come in, like, it's like a flood coming in to take all, away all the things that are no longer serving you. You know, old stagnant situations, toxic relationships, it's just like a, a very intense purging process, you know, to make room for this new life that you're asking for. Um, and so again, you know, the choice is yours. It's, it's really up to you. You know, this person does have love for you. They do have fantasies about you. They do have um, probably a lot of sexual thoughts, probably, you know, has thought about marriage with you. But there's also part of them that doesn't trust how strongly they feel for you. There's also part of them that's really damaged and cold. And I think you're starting to see the results of that more and more, be it them being kind of distant or whatever the case might be. You're, you're seeing some other stuff that you maybe didn't, hadn't fully seen before. And so it's really up to you. It's up to you. You can, um, and this, not saying this person is a bad person, but just that they're, they're afraid, you know, and it's up to you. You can wait this out. I mean, when, when someone's afraid like this, it's always kind of unpredictable. Like I feel like a little bit more of a stable energy here with this person than I do most of the time when I get fear, because I feel very strong feelings here. Um, and sometimes it's like someone's kind of more uncertain, but with this with this group, I feel like they're they're more they're certain of their feelings. They're just not certain if they're gonna get their heart broken or not, you know. So they're kind of overthinking that. But but yeah, it's it's beautiful because the world is your oyster right now. You get to choose a path. 
if you decide that you know you don't want to do this that that you know you want somebody who's going to be more consistent somebody who's going to push past their fear push past their pride you have the option of letting this go and and you you'll be it with fast moving energy here with sudden turn of events you'll be amazed how quickly things move in a different direction for you if you decide that you don't want this anymore you'll be amazed how quickly your guides bring in a new potential life partner who's going to love you just as deeply if not more deeply as this person does like the world is just your oyster right now so you get to choose your path you get to choose if you want to do this with this person or if you want someone new who might be able to love you a little bit better than this person is right now um and this person again for the collective i'm getting this this new person might not be your usual type but it's like once that unfamiliarity has settled like once it's because it's like unfamiliar energy when you love someone that's not your usual type but once that unfamiliarity is settled you're like you're not gonna want to go back to your usual type after that you know what i mean it's like this this new person would would become your usual type after that it's like you would be treated like a king or queen and you would like see a whole different side of life and you wouldn't want to go back it's like i saw a meme on the other day that kind of resonates with this it's um, growth is when your exes are not even your type anymore. And I'm in Aries and I'm in this energy too. So sometimes it's like these, these cards resonate with me as well. You know, it makes sense. I'm in this, this energy group. It helps me channel for you guys. Like, cause I resonate with this energy. I think that's why my Aries videos are probably a little bit better than my, um, other Zodiac videos since I'm in this energy. But, um, you know, that's been resonating with me a lot, too, where it's like I'm looking back and I'm seeing my exes differently. I'm seeing most of them as cowards. I'm seeing I before I kind of made excuses for them. I'm like, oh, they're scared. They're damaged. They're going through the dark night of the soul. They're they're. Um, you know, they don't mean to be negative or abusive or whatever. They they're just, you know, they've had a bad childhood or they'd had this or that. Um, I was just always making excuses for their fear and pride, and I've, I've kind of gotten to, like, this, this, this energy shift lately with you guys, too, where it's like, you know, I'm seeing them all as cowards, and I'm turned off by all of them. There's, there's not a single ex that I would want back in my life at this point. You know, I just, I only have room in my life, I only have time and energy and room in my life for people that are completely emotionally unavail or completely emotionally available to me. Anything else is just draining and not really worth it. You know, the way I see it, it's like if a man or a woman, for that matter, if, if someone, if your person, your true love, is if, if they're willing to hurt you to protect themselves from, like, the, the tiny risk of getting hurt, um, then it's like it shows what kind of person they are. You know what I mean? That's kind of how I see it, at least for me. Because I'm like, I feel like it's like cowardice. It's like you're willing to hurt me to protect yourself from like this imaginary threat of getting hurt like you're you're fine with hurting me and that's not a man that's not the type of man that I could feel safe with you know I want a man that's going to protect my heart as much as he protects his own heart I want a man that I can be vulnerable in and you know who's going to be my safe space who's who's going to allow me to be in my feminine energy um without me having to to worry that I'm going to get my heart broken. You know what I mean? Like, I want that vulnerability in my relationships. And, you know, you, you can't really have that vulnerability with cowards because they're they're going to get scared of the connection and they're going to run. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's, it's ultimately up to you. You just have this beautiful energy here where you can have this, this drastic, life-changing energy shift if you want to come into this energy, if you want to come into these tower moments and you want to step out of your comfort zone and... and and take new chances and, and travel and explore the world and go down a near new career path, just go down different paths, you know, do the things that you've been afraid of doing. You know, you have this chance for, for a drastically different life than what you've had and a drastically different love than, than the type of love that you've had in the past. So so up to you. It's really up to you, but it's, it's very beautiful. This is the potential here for a life-changing energy. Um, this, it's almost like a portal that we might be in right now that we can go through. It's just, it's beautiful. Um, and so I just want to emphasize, you know, put emphasis on this, you know, 
uh, you know, take that jump, take that leap of faith, step out of your comfort zone while the energy is ripe for it. If you're being led to do that, if you're being, you know, called, you know, if you have a certain calling or something, but you're still kind of afraid, still kind of holding on to control issues, you know, let go of the control issues, let go of the fear, push past all of that and, and step into this beautiful new life, you know. If you want something you've never had, you've got to do something you've never done. You've got to do multiple things you've never done. Um, but it's it's really beautiful energy. So I see you kind of pausing and reflecting and resting and, and you know, thinking on this and, and figuring out what you want your life to be. Can I get some more clarification cards really quick? Mental instability, third-party distraction, publicity, and social media. All right, what's this about? What are you trying to tell me here? What's you trying to tell me here? Planning their approach, taking it slow. I think this is about the first person... You know, mental instability, karmic partner. I think it's saying, like, karmic, how damaged they are from karmic partners, that they've actually caused them, like, PTSD or anxiety or depression. Like, your person is very damaged. Um, publicity and social media. You might be finding this out on social media, so you're kind of deciding if you want to deal with this. Choosing their words wisely, planning the approach, and taking it slow. Yeah, this is kind of saying, like, tread lightly with this person. They're treading lightly with you, where it's like they're really choosing their their words. They're kind of taking it slow, getting to know each other. It's like a very, kind of like a slower-moving energy. But, you know, like, if somebody's, if somebody's damaged, if they've got, you know, fear or pain or trauma due to, due to a karmic, due to karmic partners in their past... It's still ultimately up to them. They still have free will. Like, it's it's fine. I think it's fine to get through these things with somebody. Like, if your person is, like, communicating with you and, and being open and honest and saying, hey, like, I have this damage. I'm working through these things. Um, I need to take things slowly. But they're, like, communicating with you. Like, they are talking to you. They're just asking to go at a slower pace, possibly. You know, not jump into a relationship, but maybe at least, like, see each other here and there. Um, you know, I think that's okay if they're building a life with you and they're, they're consciously, you know, physically, verbally telling you that they want to build a life with you, but that they just, they need to go at a slower pace. I think that's fine. I think that that does show that they really want you, but I think it's when they're not communicating, when they're just ghosting you or they're just ignoring you and you have to try to figure out how they're feeling and you have to try to figure out what they want and if they love you and you're having to question if they love you or not that's when I feel like it's not worth it you know what I mean it's like fine for somebody to be mental un mentally unstable and scared and work through that energy with you but when they're just like ignoring you and ghosting and doing their own thing it's just it's just uh, so not worth it can you tell me anything about the new partner anything about the new partner here I don't know if they're going to show me that yet, because it's still, you're still choosing that path. That energy might come in so quickly, though. It could come in really quick, but let's see what they, they might not show me, but we'll see. We'll see what they say. Hidden truth. Oops, sorry. Sadness. Choosing love over fear. Bold gesture, risk, and reward. Okay, so what I'm getting from what I'm getting from this is that this person, so the, the person you're dealing with now is kind of like cold and guarded. This uh, this new person is probably going to be very mentally strong. They're not going to be cold. They might be guarded. They're not going to be guarded really so much in the sense as they're they've been hurt a lot and they're used to being hurt. I think. And when you meet this person, you know, you're going to be surprised how quickly you're vulnerable with them and how quickly they're vulnerable with you. 
I think the hidden truth, I think, I think it's kind of saying like they are, they're a very emotional person. This new person is very emotional. They're very deep. They're romantic. They're the type that would like hide their pain from most people because they're very strong. I feel like this person has been independent their entire life. Like they just have a very, very strong energy. Like they've gotten through a lot alone. Um, they don't really rely on anyone but themselves. And they usually hide this sadness from people. Like, usually they just kind of survive. Like, this is somebody who's, like, this is, this is, like, a sexy energy, honestly. This is, this is, like, ooh, this is, like, an alpha male type energy that I get here. It's, like, somebody who's, like, got their own apartment, their own car, somebody who's, you know, working their own job, and they, they did it all on their own, like, without support. Like, they just... They know who they are. They know what they want. They they go after what they want. It's it's like ooh, that's like that's a sexy energy right there. But yeah, the hidden truth is like the world is lonely. They're sad sometimes. You know, things hurt. Like their life has been hard. They've 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 they're so strong. Like they've gotten through so much on their own. Like I feel like this person might not have a ton of support, but it's like they. A lot of people that don't have that kind of support, they turn to, like, drugs or alcohol or um, whatever else, you know what I mean? Like, they they end up repeating these toxic negative patterns, but this person is just so, their soul is so old and they're, they're so just mentally strong that... I feel like not having like strong whether whether it's like family or friends or whatever whatever it is whatever this energy is of them not having complete support in their life it's like they're they're old they're they're so their soul is just so old and so strong that it's like they just they made their own destiny they made their own path they they love themselves they're their own best friend I feel like this person has a lot of integrity, too. Like, they're very self-disciplined. So I feel like this is someone that probably wouldn't do drugs. Um, not that there's anything wrong with doing drugs. I mean, I smoke pot, you know, whatever. But this is somebody who, like, wouldn't do hard drugs, I should say. Like, they wouldn't... I don't see this being somebody who would be self-destructive. I see this so as being someone who survived so many just traumatic things. And it's made them... Instead of that energy making them, you know, dependent or weak, it's it's done the opposite of what it does to most people. It's actually made them stronger. It's made them more independent. It's made them love themselves and rely on themselves more. Um, so they hold themselves to very high standards. And just, just so much integrity and self-discipline here. Could be someone in, I could I could see this not not for all of you but for a lot of you I see this being someone who's who might be healthy might be someone who like works out someone who's kind of healthy just because I see them being so just so strong and so independent so it wouldn't be surprise me if they it wouldn't surprise me if they really take care of themselves and their body I feel like this these high standards are going to be great for you too if you when you, if you decide that you want to go down the second path and manifest this person um could be someone in your energy field. I feel like it's going to be great for you as well because they're going to hold high themselves to high standards in relationships too. Like they're going to want to treat you like a queen or like a king. And they're empathetic. You know, they know what it's like to be alone. They're very emotionally deep, very empathetic. They know what it means to be alone. They know what it means to be hurt. And so they don't ever want to do that to another person. But, um, yeah, so... You know, hidden truth and sadness here, I think it's, it's you know, basically saying they wear a mask with a lot of people, like, kind of just cut, like, kind of just not sure about most people, like, they can't connect to very many people, kind of distrusting of people, kind of just do their own thing because they have to preserve their, their independence. They know how cruel the world can be, and they are very sensitive and very emotional, so they know to protect themselves, but there's, this person is just so strong and it's just oh it's such a sexy energy just the high standards they hold themselves to the self-love that how much they've come through on their own is just that it's so sexy oh that's just oh <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good energy but yeah sorry I don't mean to blab here but um but yeah the hidden truth is that they kind of wear a mask with most people but and and at first you know they, they might not pour their emotions out at first they're going to kind of be getting to know you but there, you guys might have soul recognition pretty early on, like maybe the first month, maybe even sooner than that. Um, 
And so you guys are going to be really surprised how quickly you open up to each other. And, and you're going to see that they the sadness, you know, some of that emotion that they don't show most people, some of that. They're going to be vulnerable with you. They're going to be willing to, to show you that pain, to show you who they are and what they've been through. Um, and this person is, is going to see, this is, you know, bold gesture, choosing love over fear, risk, reward. You know, they're going to see, this is like a, like a, could be like a Viking type or like a knight in shining armor type. It's just somebody who's, you know, they're choosing love over fear. It's, it's, it's a bold gesture. They're, they're going to be brave. They're going to be strong. They're going to realize that you're worth it. They're going to do whatever they need to keep you. They're not ever going to put themselves in a position by like ghosting you or ignoring you or being distant. Like they're never going to want to do those things because they're they're going to want to keep you. They're going to want to do what they can to keep you. And also just because they have this integrity and these high standards they hold themselves to, they're going to want to do right by you. And you have listening and understanding. You know, they're going to you guys are going to listen to each other. You guys are going to understand each other. You guys are going to connect on this soul level. Um, I see a very emotionally deep relationship here and it's, it's brings in this new perspective for you. Again, these life changes, it's, this person would be helping you along your path too, just cause it's like such a strong, masculine, stable energy here. Um, and you have, you know, it says here, true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, faith, and bravery. So I hope this helps. If it does, please go ahead and subscribe to me. And I do private readings as well. My my information is below. Is below. And also I, I do sell these oracle decks that I make. So if you're interested, just email me. Thanks for watching.